The FIS Alpine Ski World Cup is the top international circuit of alpine skiing competitions, launched in 1966 by a group of ski racing friends and experts which included French journalist Serge Lang and the alpine ski team directors from France Honore Bonnet and the USA Bob Beatty. It was soon backed by International Ski Federation President Mark Hodler during the FIS Alpine World Ski Championships 1966 at Portillo, Chile, and became an official FIS event in the spring of 1967 after the FIS Congress at Beirut, Lebanon. The first World Cup ski race was held in Berchtesgaden, West Germany, on January 5, 1967. Jean-Claude Killy of France and Nancy Green of Canada were the overall winners for the first two seasons. Topic. Rules. Competitors attempt to achieve the best time in four disciplines, slalom, giant slalom, super G, and downhill. The fifth event, the combined, employs the downhill and slalom. The World Cup originally included only slalom, giant slalom, and downhill races. Combined events, calculated using results from selected downhill and slalom races, were included starting with the 1974-75 season, while the Super G was added for the 1982-83 season. The current scoring system was implemented in the 1991-92 season. For every race points are awarded to the top 30 finishers, 100 points to the winner, 80 for second, 60 for third, winding down to 1 point for 30th place. The racer with the most points at the end of the season in mid-March wins the cup, with the trophy consisting of a 9kg crystal globe. Sub prizes are also awarded in each individual race discipline, with a smaller 3.5 kg crystal globe. See the section on scoring system below for more information. The World Cup is held annually, and is considered the premier competition for alpine ski racing after the quadrennial Winter Olympics. Many consider the World Cup to be a more valuable title than the Olympics or the Biennial World Championships, since it requires a competitor to ski at an extremely high level in several disciplines throughout the season, and not just in one race. Races are hosted primarily at ski resorts in the Alps in Europe with regular stops in Scandinavia, North America, and East Asia, but a few races have also been held in the Southern Hemisphere. World Cup competitions have been hosted in 25 different countries around the world, Andorra, Argentina, Australia, Austria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Canada, Croatia, Czech Republic, Finland, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, Poland, Russia, Slovakia, Slovenia, South Korea, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, and the United States. Note that all World Cup races hosted in Bosnia were held when it was still part of Yugoslavia. Lower competitive circuits include the Norum Cup in North America and the Europa Cup in Europe. Topic. Overall winners Multiple individual overall World Cup winners are marked with hash. Topic. Individual <laughs> 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 
Topic: Individual titles by country. Topic: Men overall titles. The following skiers have at least three overall Alpine World Cup titles. Topic: Ladies overall titles. The following skiers have at least three overall Alpine World Cup titles. Topic: Discipline titles. Topic: Top 10 small crystal globe podiums. Topic: Most small globes per discipline. Combined Crystal Globe was officially awarded from 2007 to 2012. However, there are counted all season titles, both official and unofficial. The records for most World Cup titles in each discipline are as follows. Topic: Men. Super Gin the following table men's Super G World Cup podiums since first edition in 1986. Topic: Women. Topic: Slalom. Topic Downhill Topic Giant Slalom Topic Combined Super Combined Alpine Combined Topic Super G Topic Most race wins in each discipline Topic Men As of the twenty second of February twenty nineteen. Topic Ladies. Topic Most successful race winners. A common measurement of how good individual skiers are is the total number of World Cup races won during their skiing career. The following skiers have won at least 20 World Cup races. Topic: <laughs> Men's race winners. As of the sixteenth of March, twenty nineteen. Topic Women's Race Winners. As of the sixteenth of March, twenty nineteen. Topic Most Podiums and Top Ten Results. As of the twenty fourth of February, twenty nineteen. Topic Career Podiums.
Topic: Career top 10 results. Note: Only parallel events from 1975, 1997, 2011 to 2013, 2016, which count for overall ranking, included on this list, are considered as official individual World Cup victories. Topic. Greatest Alpine Skiers of All Time Based on Ski Database Super Ranking System Since 1966, this scoring system is calculated using points from three categories, Olympic Games, World Championships, and World Cup overall titles, discipline titles and individual top ten results. Topic: Men's Super Ranking. Topic: Ladies Super Ranking. As of the 11th of February 2019. Topic: Parallel Slalom. Parallel slalom events from 1976 to 1991 counted for Nations Cup only. Events with 16 instead of 32 competitors are officially called city events CE. Topic: Men. Topic Ladies Topic Parallel Giant Slalom Introduced by the International Ski Federation to the World Cup as a spectator friendly event in late 2015, the Parallel Giant Slalom Competition, or shortened Parallel G, joining the Parallel Slalom, is intended to lure more speed specialists into the faster of the two technical disciplines, along with attracting their fans to watch the races at the venue, online, and on on television. The Federation has not indicated, as of early 2016, that they are fully committed to duplicating the effort, however, their long-term calendar shows that the plan is to return to Alta Badia 12 months after the inaugural event in December 2016, and then again, tentatively, through December 2018. Few venues offer the slope and conditions required to host an extremely short giant slalom course that can be readily viewed in its entirety by a compact gallery of fans. Modified or not, the Federation has not suggested that they will push the format to lower level tours like the Norum and Europa Cup. Topic. Format The chief race director of the inaugural event at Alta Badia, Marcus Waldner, on 20 December 2015 stated that, "...great performances," and "...head-to-head -head fights," between the best giant slalom racers is the goal of the competition. The course for the first race was very compact at about 20 to 22 seconds duration, or about one third of a normal GS run. However, the pace and cadence will be the same as giant slalom, not standard slalom. Gates were set at roughly the same distances as GS and on a slope of about the same pitch. The field of 32 were drawn following an invitational 
format. The top four men in the overall World Cup rankings were automatic invitees, if they chose to compete. Another 16 racers were selected from the top of the current GS start list rankings, and the final 12 competitors were selected from the first run efforts at the standard GS event the day prior at the same venue. Overlapping qualifications allowed the sponsors to invite lower-ranked participants to fill in gaps, as needed, and to replace individuals who declined to participate. Points were awarded and accumulated according to current standards for the race season in all relevant categories, the GS Discipline, Overall and Nations Cup. The field was filled with 32 first-round participants, each getting a run on either course. The best combined times moved the fastest racer to the second round through bracket preference protocols. From the second round, skiers the head-to-head -head competitions were held over one run only, with the faster skier from the previous round granted course selection between the red right or blue left course. At about one third the time of a standard GS event, top performers, finalists were able to make multiple runs without the fatigue of a longer event. The course was methodically set with lasers, and a GPS-equipped snowcat, to guarantee that both courses on the hill were as identical as possible to ensure equity and a fair competition. The race director suggested the difference between the two lanes were within 1 to 2 cm tolerance of one another. Topic Events Topic Various Records Note Only Crystal Globe awarded discipline officially counts as titles and medals awarded DH, GS, SL disciplines in seasons 1967–1977 as well. Combined Crystal Globe was officially awarded only in seasons 2007–2012. World Cup timeline Last updated, the 17th of March 2019. Topic: Men's double winners. Topic: Ladies triple winners. Topic Ladies Double Winners Topic Twenty Wins and More in Speed Technical Events Note Super G not contested at that time. Note, parallel events are not included in the list as slalom wins. All event winners Only a few racers have ever managed to win races in all five Classic World Cup Alpine skiing disciplines during their career, as listed in the table below. Mark Ghirardelli (1988–89), Petra Kronberger (1990–91), Janika Kostelic (2005–06), and Tina Mays (2012–13) are the only skiers to have won all five events in a single season. 
Bodie Miller is the only skier with at least five World Cup victories in all five disciplines. Topic: Men. Topic: Ladies. Michaela Schifrin is the only skier in history who has won in six different disciplines i.e., aside from the classic five disciplines, she has also won in parallel slalom. <laughs> Most race wins in a single season The following skiers have won at least 10 World Cup races in a single season events not available in a given season are marked by NA. <laughs> <laughs> World Cup scoring system The World Cup scoring system is based on awarding a number of points for each place in a race, but the procedure for doing so and the often arcane method used to calculate the annual champions has varied greatly over the years. Originally, points were awarded only to the top 10 finishers in each race, with 25 points for the winner, 20 for second, 15 for third, 11 for fourth, 8 for fifth, 6 for sixth, 4 for seventh, and then decreasing by one point for each lower place. To determine the winner for each discipline World Cup, only a racer's best three results would count, even though there would typically be six to eight races in each discipline. For the overall cup, the best three results in each discipline would be summed. Until 1970, also the results of Winter Olympic Games races and Alpine World Ski Championship races were included in the World Cup valuation i.e. Grenoble 1968 and Val Gardena 1970. This was abandoned after 1970, mainly due to the limited number of racers per nation who are admitted to take part in these events. For the 1971–72 season, the number of results counted was increased to five in each discipline. The formula used to determine the overall winner varied almost every year over the next decade, with some seasons divided into two portions with a fixed number of results in each period counting towards the overall, while in other seasons the best three or four results in each discipline would count. Starting with the 1979–80 season, points were awarded to the top 15 finishers in each race. After 1980–81, the formula for the overall title stabilized for several years, counting the best five results in the original disciplines slalom, giant slalom, and downhill plus the best three results in combined. When Super G events were introduced for the 1982–83 season, the results were included with Giant Slalom for the first three seasons, before a separate Discipline Cup was awarded starting in 1985–86 and the top three Super G results were counted towards the overall. The formula for the overall was changed yet again the following season, with the top four results in each discipline counting, along with all combined results although the combined was nearly eliminated from the schedule, reduced to only one or two events per season. This perennial tweaking of the scoring formula was a source of ongoing uncertainty to the World Cup racers and to fans. 
the need for a complete overhaul of the scoring system had grown increasingly urgent with each successive year, and in 1987–88 the FIS decided to fully simplify the system, all results would now count in each discipline and in the overall. This new system was an immediate success, and the practice of counting all results has been maintained in every subsequent season. With the ongoing expansion of the number and quality of competitors in World Cup races over the years, a major change to the scoring system was implemented in the 1991–92 season. The top 30 finishers in each race would now earn points, with 100 for the winner, 80 for second, 60 for third, and then decreasing by smaller increments for each lower place. The point values were adjusted slightly the following season, to reduce the points for places 4th through 20th, and the scoring system has not been changed again since that year. The table below compares the point values under all five scoring systems which have been in use. Note, the scoring system changed during the 1978–79 season, this special system was used for the last two men's downhills and the last three races in every other discipline except combined. Topic. Statistical analysis Since the top 30 scoring system was implemented in 1991–92, the number of completed men's or women's World Cup races each year has ranged from 30 to 44, so the maximum possible point total for an individual racer is about 3,000 under the current scoring system. However, very few racers actually ski in all events, for example, Bodie Miller was the only skier to have competed in every World Cup race during the three seasons from 2003 to 2005. The current record for total World Cup points in a season is Tina Mays's 2,414 points in 2012–13, with the men's record of 2,000 points set by Herman Mayer in 1999–2000. The fewest points for an overall champion under the current system thus far have been 1,009 for men by Axel Lund Svindel in 2008 09 and 1248 for women by Vreni Schneider in 1994 95. The largest margin of victory in the overall has been Mays's 13-13 points in 2012-13, more than doubling second-place finisher Maria Hoffel Riesch's total, while the largest men's margin was 743 points by Hermann Mayer in 2001. Note that in the early days of World Cup, when the first place was awarded only 25 points, even larger relative margins of victory were recorded in 1967 by Jean-Claude Killy with 225 points over Heinrich Messner with 114 points and in 1973-74 by Anne-Marie moser Prohl with 268 points over Monica Kayserer with 153 points. The closest finishes since 1992 have been minuscule margins of six points in 1994–95 Vreni Schneider over Katja Seizinger. 3 points in 2004-05 Anya Parson over Janika Kostelich and in 2010-11 Maria Riesch over Lindsay Vaughn, and only 2 points in 2008-09 Axel Lund Svindel over Benjamin Reich. 
the current men's record for total World Cup points in one month of the season is Ivica Kostelic's 999 points from January 2011. The tables below contain a brief statistical analysis of the overall World Cup standings during the 21 seasons since the top 30 scoring system was implemented in 1991–92. In general, over 1,000 points are needed to contend for the overall title. At least one man and one woman has scored 1,000 points in each of these seasons, but no more than five men's or women's racers have crossed that threshold in any single season. Of the 42 men's and women's overall champions in these years, 38 scored over 1,200 points, 30 had over 1,300 points, 19 reached 1,500 points, and only 7 amassed more than 1,700 points during their winning seasons. As for the runners-up, 37 of the 42 second-place finishers scored over 1,000 points, 18 had over 1,300 points, and only 4 reached 1,500 points yet failed to win. Most overall titles have been won quite convincingly, by more than 200 points in 23 of 42 cases, while only 11 margins of victory have been tighter than 50 points. Topic. World Cup Finals Since 1993 the International Ski Federation FIS, has hosted a World Cup final at the end of each season in March. During five days, men's and women's races are held in four disciplines, slalom, giant slalom, super G, and downhill. Only a limited number of racers are invited to ski at the finals, including the top 25 in the World Cup standings in each discipline, plus the current junior world champions in each discipline. Because of the smaller field, World Cup points are only awarded to the top 15 finishers in each race. Hosts of the World Cup Finals the 2004 final was held in all FIS disciplines except ski jumping. The freestyle events were held in neighboring Sows Dulks and the snowboard events in Bardonecchia. The 2008 final was held in all FIS disciplines except ski jumping. The freestyle and snowboard events were held in neighboring Vilmelenko. Topic. Results by nation Topic Nations which have won World Cup races The table below lists those nations which have won at least one World Cup race current as of 17 March 2019. Individual race wins are counted in this table, along with the nation's team events held at World Cup Finals since 2006 counts double as both men and women in mixed competition contribute to a win. The parallel race is a head-to-head -head slalom race format used occasionally from the 1970s through 1990s, and again in 2011. Team event wins are doubled because on one team event race competed both women and men, so it's counted separately each for women and men. Results for West Germany and Germany are counted together in this table. All of Yugoslavia's wins are currently lumped in with Slovenia, since the skiers who won races for former Yugoslavia were all Slovenes from Slovenia one of six Yugoslav republics, and thus are listed under Slovenia in online databases. 
The Soviet Union and Russia are counted separately, as are Czechoslovakia and the Czech Republic. A total of 24 countries have won World Cup races, with 19 different countries winning men's races and 20 winning women's races. As expected, the top 10 nations in this list are the same as the 10 nations listed in the Nations Cup summary table with slight changes in order. Some interesting facts can be found in the data. Mark Ghirardelli accounted for all of Luxembourg's 46 wins, while Janika Kostelic has 30 of Croatia's 56 and her brother Ivica has the rest. Ingemar Stenmark still has nearly one half of Sweden's 192 wins more than two decades after his retirement. Some nations specialize in either speed downhill and super G or technical slalom and GS disciplines, while others are strong across the board. Among nations with 30 plus wins, the Canadian team has won 73% of its races in speed events, while Yugoslavia, Slovenia has won 84% and Sweden 86% of their races in technical events, especially notable in Sweden's case given its large number of wins. Several nations with under 30 wins have 100% of them in technical events, led by Finland and Spain. In contrast Germany and Norway have the most even distribution without disproportionate strength or weakness in any one discipline. Some nations have strong teams in only one gender, as 92% of Norway's wins have come from their men and 83% of Germany's from their women, while the Swiss and Canadian totals are split almost equally. Topic: <laughs> Nations Cup The Nations Cup standings are calculated by adding up all points each season for all racers from a given nation. The early years of the World Cup were largely dominated by the French ski team, as reflected in their Nations Cup wins in five of the first six years. The Austrian team then took over throughout the rest of the 1970s, followed by Swiss superiority during most of the 1980s. A resurgent Austrian team charged back to the top in 1988, beginning a long streak of consecutive Nations Cup triumphs. Austrian dominance reached its zenith in the late 1990s and 2000s decade, when their points total regularly doubled that of the second-place finisher, and was capped in the 1999-2000 and 2003-4 seasons with totals that tripled those of runner-up Italy. Their 17,927-point total in 1999-2000 is a Nations Cup record, as is their 12,066-point margin of victory in 2003-4. As of the end of the 2016–17 season, the Austrian team has won 30 consecutive Nations Cups, while topping the men's standings for 25 straight years. Austria is the only nation to have finished in the top three of the Nations Cup standings in all 50 years in which World Cup competition has been held, winning in 38 of those years, runner-up in 11 years, and third place in a single year. Austrian men have failed to make the podium in only one season, 1972. Austrian women have failed to make the podium in only two seasons, 1981 and 1982. 
Switzerland with seven wins and France with five wins are the only other nations to have won the Nations Cup. In the midst of the ongoing Austrian juggernaut, the Swiss or Italian teams have usually held second place. The German team reached the runner-up spot for the first time in 1997–8, as did the Norwegians the next season. The U.S. enjoyed its best placings ever starting in 2004–5, grabbing second in the Nations Cup for two straight years. Under the current scoring system since 1992, the winning nation Austria every year has averaged over 13,000 points, with an average of over 6,400 for the runner-up, 5,400 for third place, 4,200 for fifth, and 1,300 for tenth. The all-inclusive scoring system simply adding together all World Cup points earned favors national teams with great depth and many racers scoring World Cup points, and even teams with several top racers have no realistic chance of breaking the Austrian grip on the top spot, while a team with only one or two top-ranked racers will struggle to ever break the top five in the stand standings. There have been numerous calls for a revamped scoring system which would allow other nations to compete more readily for top spots in the Nations Cup, but no changes are likely to be made. In 2016, however, the Austrian men's team narrowly beat France by just 201 points. The total number of top three placings for each nation in the Nations Cup through the 2017–18 season are summarized below. Note, results for West Germany and Germany are counted together in this table. Topic. Crystal Globe Since 1967, the Big Crystal Globe has been awarded for the overall title. From the beginning to 1976–77, discipline titles were awarded with medals. Statistically, those titles have the same value as the small crystal globes, which first appeared for discipline titles in slalom, giant slalom and downhill in the 1977–78. In Super G, the small globe has been awarded since 1985–86. For Super G races in the three seasons previous, points were added and calculated in the giant slalom ranking. In combined, the small crystal globe was officially awarded only between 2007 to 2012. Before that, combined season winners could not officially be considered as season titles. In those years FIS simply calculated points from the other two races, DH and SL. See also Alpine skiing at the Winter Olympics FIS Alpine World Ski Championships <laughs>